Hey fellow tra swing traders, how are you? Rick here with Hit Run Candlesticks. Hey, I want to remind you that uh, if you're watching this YouTube video right now, uh, go over there and subscribe and make sure you click that uh, bell. If you've already subscribed and, you, and you're not getting notifications when we post a new video, go over there, look for that bell, give it a click for me, okay? And what the bell does, uh, subscription is kind of one part of it, and then you have to hit the bell, uh, click on that bell so that it lets YouTube know that you're okay with getting uh, notifications when we post a, um, a new alert. And also remember, the subscription is free. It doesn't cost anything. So uh, you might pick some great tips up here on YouTube. Please do that. Uh, stay tuned for the tales of two stories coming up, okay? Take care. Thanks. There we go. What a great day to uh, peel off some profits uh, today uh, on this Friday. So uh, keep that in mind. I've got a, a tale of two stories here I would like to talk about uh, in the market. And um, I'm going to put up a moving average here that's not here at the moment. And let's get that up right there. Okay. So let's talk about the tale of two stories. And uh, one story is going to be the bearish side. Uh, what we have here is the 50 period moving average and what we have here is a um, what we have here is a uh, 200 period moving average, okay? Um, traders around the world over the years has given this the title of a death cross when it crosses down like that, okay? I think that's a great idea myself. Uh, I think it's a uh, great indicator to watch. Uh, gives you kind of a uh, bigger picture overview. While the 50 period moving average is underneath the 200 period moving average, you cannot have a bullish market. Okay? You cannot. Now, I suppose if somebody has a different tail here, you could, you could tell it. Um, I see two stories um, happening in front of us right here. Uh, I see the bearish story and I see a bullish story. The bullish story is very short term at the moment. The, the bullish story, yeah. The bearish story is a bit to the longer side. And while that 50 is below the 200, the tail of the bearish story is going to stay there. It's not going to leave. When that changes, then we will eliminate the, the tail of the bearish story and we will start looking at the tail of the bullish story. Now let's look at the other side, the tail of the bullish story. The bullish story is right here. Where's that? There it is. The bullish story is we have a low, we have a low, and we have um, a double bottom. Let's call it that, okay? And from there, we've rallied up and we're trying to, to test this, this, uh, uh, this, this point right there, that 50 and the 200 period moving average right there. We're trying to test that. So looking at this chart this way, I can certainly make a bullish story here. And I can make a bearish story right here. So you've got the tale of two stories. Um, right through here, this, this, I'm going to actually raise this up a little bit like that. Um, through this area right there, this is where there will be an awful lot of people make money and there will be an awful lot of people lose money in trading. There are people that will decide to trade to the long side that, well, forget the long side. Forget the short side. There will be people decide to trade that should not be trading. Okay. And we just have to kind of decide who we are. Are, you know, am I that person that cannot trade this area? And the reason I'm saying that is this is going to be a very tricky, tricky area to navigate stocks. We're not the only people that are looking at this. This is not. This is not uh, something new, this whole death cross thing here. 
Uh, the fact we're coming up in the resistance is not new. We're the only, we're not the only people looking at it. There are, I, I would venture to bet every trader out there in the world is looking at it. it it's, 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 uh, th this is the type of setup that everybody knows about. So what's going to happen is you're going to get everybody trying to navigate those waters. And you're going to get, if you're a ship and you're out there navigating, ships are going to run into ships. And they're going to break apart and they're going to fall in the water. And then the sharks are going to eat those people. So is it better to stay on land until the weather clears up so you can navigate through here? Or do you want to go out and navigate these waters? These are decisions we have to make as traders. Right now, I see us making a bullish relief rallies. Relief rallies, you can make a ton of money in relief rallies. They are extremely good for very short-term swing trades. As we make a relief rally up into resistance, and we have it here, this, this uh, death cross area, this is actually a great setup for shorts. Now, you shouldn't just arbitrarily take the short. We need to wait till we see some sell signals up there, some um, actual failing of this area. Okay, so uh, being Friday and all, I don't have to remind you and anyone of the troubles we have going on right now uh, that could cause the market to um, get that weather uh, storming even worse. And that's going to be hard to keep your boat right side up in the water. So trade cautiously. Um, limit your trades. Uh, be very careful, careful with trading right now. As long as price stays above the T-line, the T-line is the black line, I will remain relief rally bullish. Absolutely. The closer we get to this area here, The closer we get to this area up here, I will become way more cautious to the point of even cash, okay? To the point of even maybe, you know what? This These waters just aren't worth navigating. I don't want to run into another ship. I don't want my boat to break up, and I don't want to get in the water, and I sure as heck don't want to get eaten by a shark. So I'm going to trade smart, okay? Cues. The same thing can be said for the Qs, the exact same thing. The 50 period moving average is underneath the 200 period moving average. You cannot have a bullish market with this scenario. You cannot. You can, however, have a bullish relief rally. The bullish relief rally might be something like this that we already know we have. It could be something where it pulls back and tests and it could start back up through here. This is nothing more than a bullish relief rally. It is a bullish relief rally until it gets up over the 50 period moving average. I'm sorry, the 200, excuse me. Until price gets back up over the 200 period moving average, we will have a bearish overall market. Now, just because price moves over that 200 moving period moving average doesn't mean that the 50 is going to follow it right now today. It's going to take a little bit. Now, I get it. As a trader, if we can get above that 200, I'm going to be very excited and I'm going to do some trading. I'm going to be cautious because I recognize the 50 has not crossed back up. Once it crosses back up, we now have a bullish market. The bearish market has put been put behind us. We have a bearish market. If you can, I don't think it's going to happen this fast. I just have this much room to draw in, okay? So if you can see how this might go out a couple weeks. Now, price could get up there in three or four days. The 50, it's going to take three weeks maybe to get up there. So just imagine three weeks from now. Can you see how the possible bottom might be trying to set up? Nice rounded bottom here. We've got that potential. But potential is not 
uh, it, it's not fact. Potential is not, yep, I can see we've gone bullish. Potential is just what it could be. Don't bet on, on things like that. Bet on what you can confirm. All right. Place trades on what you can confirm. I can confirm right now we are in a relief rally. Yes, we are, based on my rules anyway. If we can stay above the T-line, we will remain in a relief rally. And it can be here, it can be all the way up here, and all the way up here we can have pullbacks. Pullbacks are okay, but they must stay above the T-line. If they stay above the T-line, then the T-line is going to be above the trendicator. So it all kind of works out together like that. If we take a look at the dark chart over here, just a it, dark chart, just because it's dark right now. It, um, no price action to whip us around, no price action to give us any kind of false emotion. This right here is fact. It's absolute fact. We are still, uh, we're still for the most part trending down, but you can see how the relief rally, I, I say for the most part because we're starting to turn right here on the relief rally. We know we're still in a downtrend, and in a bear market. So I certainly want to take advantage of any kind of bullish relief rally. I also want to take advantage of as that bullish, um, as that, what in the world am I doing? There we go. As that bullish relief rally works, I want to take advantage of any upcoming shorts because something like this is very very possible right now. We rally up. What a great short setup right here. Here we pop up and we put in this bearish engulf. The bearish engulf tells us we might see a lower low. Anybody that's been in the room, you know that that's the way I look at a candlestick signal, especially a bearish engulf. The probabilities of a lower low is extremely great. I cannot tell you that it's going to close there. I cannot tell you where it's going to close, but I will I will bet my money each and every day that we'll see a lower low. We saw a lower low. We even saw another lower low and even another lower low. What we're doing right here is very similar to this. Rolling up. We'll take advantage of the bulls and we'll take advantage of the bears if they show up. All right. Look, I've got no trade ideas today. It's Friday. Some Fridays I do. Some Fridays I don't. Uh, we've been posting trade ideas to the uh, blog post uh, Monday through Thursday. We do this uh, religiously. Uh, and some Fridays we do it too. Uh, so if you want to go pick those up uh, and create that watch list, then run over to that, to that uh, Hit and Run Candlestick blog post. There's some terrific reading in there. Trust me, you'll like it. Just scroll down. You'll see where the uh, tickers are. Create a watch list from those, all right? Okay, I'm out of here. We'll see you guys just in a little bit here when the market opens up, all right? Take care and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you.